What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Terra Luna Classic. Now we're seeing a 10% move again on Lung and a big proposal coming into Terra Station tomorrow that you guys absolutely need to be aware of. And Chris Armani, why is he talking about liquidity and much more when it comes to the Cosmos ecosystem? All of that in this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything going on with Terra Luna Classic and the rest of the cryptocurrency market. If you want to know when those spot Bitcoin ETFs are approved, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Remember, YouTube loves it if you do that. And with that being said, let's take a look at the market. $47,000 on Bitcoin. We see 1.73 trillion, 4.2% up on the day. But we're not here to talk about Bitcoin. We are here to talk about Terra Luna Classic. So we have to move all the way down into the mid 80s. You can see there, 88 is the highest ranked cryptocurrency for Terra Luna Classic right now. 12 30, excuse me, 12.44, just under 10%, and our market cap at 7.27 million with a $91 million volume. Now, volume obviously important, 130% up in the last 24 hours because this signifies, once again, our monthly burn from Binance. And we saw them burn about 2.3 billion uh, last time. So we'll see a little bit more over the course of the next month. And we could even see this rally on the back of that ETF news, which ultimately supports the continuous, continuous burn. So what are we here to talk about? Two things, really. Really. Chris Armani, remember, he is the CEO of Terraform Labs on the new one, talking about Station Wallet and Pulsar Finance, ultimately integration into Pulsar Finance, a massive, massive portfolio manager in crypto, where you get loads of tokens, DeFi, NFTs, and 95 plus blockchains and centralized exchanges. So a big partnership. He also has been talking about ultimately linking through the Cosmos ecosystem or the Cosmos Wasm SDK, which we know we integrated into Terra Luna Classic and is now part of the chain. So important it says here station wallet extension is ready we are going to wait for web integration into the pulsar finance dashboard but if the post below gets 500 retweets we will then release the extension tuesday and follow it in a couple of weeks with an updated web app with the dashboard now we would expect terra luna classic to be supported within that given what they talked about and ultimately the ambition to bring everything back together particularly in the cosmos ecosystem obviously this is just marginally short 466 i'm gonna do my bit and hit the retweet on there so we ultimately support that 500 bearing in mind it's only been out now for a couple of days so i'd expect this to hit that we'll see how that all pans out but i think really good to see that we are building whether it be lunar lunar classic cosmos whatever it is good to see that chris armani making a statement doing things right and ultimately trying to drive the lunar ecosystem which ultimately we already know will support terra lunar classic now right now you may notice we don't have any proposals we do have the evm proposal i talked about that in a couple of videos ago talking about this ultimately trying to or integrate the the potential to interest the ethereum virtual machine on terra luna classic and i think this could be interesting for dap builders and many many other aspects we got to keep trying to bring people to the chain we have to keep developing we have to continually make sure that ultimately people want to come and build on it that's the key bit right now that we need on terra luna classic yes burns are important obviously because they continue to remove the supply but at the same time we do need people to come and build off now you remember i talked a little bit about this value locked up on the chain 3.4 2 million so unfortunately is in a marginal decline astroport terra swap as well as stride but i am seeing more people look to terraport look to kind of build on the terra luna classic ecosystem even if that is the smaller parts even if those are nft projects or DeFi projects that we have already on the chain or that are supporting terra luna classic then they are going to build on it ultimately brings value and awareness to the chain and that can only be a good thing in my view now a couple of other bits to be mindful of we are still awaiting the payment for that work to happen on the chain we'll see how that plays out remember 16k to come out of our community pool as we therefore see a further build so there's going to be a couple of interesting proposals remember be sensible though if this isn't about throwing all our money away again the community pool and equally USTC and lunk looks pretty healthy in there has to be sensible how we use it remember pay by job model now implemented so we'll see how this goes this will be that first paid work on the chain since this new model looked you can see four months ago the USTC stable our uh, algo quant team didn't really really deliver on what we expected since then obviously the l1 team just been working in the background so we'll see how this plays out could be an interesting move is it going to move the price the answer probably is no however is it going to build and enhance the chain quite possibly and i think that has to be a important factor in terms of what's going on we continue to see people staking good news locking those
those tokens, removing them some supply, and ultimately showing their support for the Luna Classic ecosystem. I think it's important. We have to keep an eye on this value. It is and will be always important to see kind of where people's sentiment sits fundamentally with Terra Luna Classic. I think it's important. So the price, what do we got going on? 10.4% actually outperforming most assets right now over the BSV, which is on a move, and also ICP. But you can see this nice big move up from this low here at the 10.765 the other day. Nice little push up now, testing the north part of the Bollinger Band as this volatility does increase, but expect a potential further move. I think if we get the Bitcoin ETFs, which are about 48 hours away, we will see Luna Classic move again. We want to retest this. 14.462 is the next point I have on my map. I want to see it come up. We got max profits there the other day. And if you're interested in these indicators, by the way, check out Chart Prime. Link is in the description. They're offering you a 30% discount for using these indicators. They also have a fantastic Discord and many other YouTube videos to support your trading needs. They're a fantastic indicator. And if you want to use those indicators, why not head over to Mexi using that link in the description and check out their futures range up to 200x leverage. So two fantastic companies and operationally sound indicators and exchanges check out the links in the description down below but look expect potentially a move up with terra luna classic like i said 14.4 is where we're looking to retest certainly in the short term USTC also having a pretty good run right now we'll see how this plays out some decent proposals that evm proposal coming very soon as ever let me know in the comments what do you think do you think it's going to be worthwhile or not i'm always interested to get your views on everything terra luna classic if you want to see more content like this smash that like button subscribe for new things I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.